commitment and loyalty to club and country. That's what echoed through the Wildey Gymnasium this morning, describing the cricketing career of Telson Payne as many joined his family in the celebration of his life. Past and present cricketers, politicians and multiple supporters gathered and paid farewell tributes, including the sporting entity he worked with since 1984, the National Sports Council. He was about commitment, longevity, a genius coach and cricketer, a humble servant, and importantly, a proud, proud loyalty to club, country, and the National Sports Council. The National Sports Council is dressed in shirts with its favorite color, green, as a show of gratitude. We love and will always remember you, Papi. We will always remember you, Kuru. And we always remember you, the Mayor of St. Philip. We thank you, Thelston Rodney O'Neill Payne, for your coaching role model and for the memories. St. Catherine Cricket Club, the one Payne held close to his heart, paid tribute in video and it was backed up by former president and coach, McDonald Fingal. In 2008, I was not only president, I was also a chairman of the select committee. And because of the portion of practice, I fired eight men. Only three men from the team before were playing. I even played a man that never played cricket before. And the people want to kill my finger. So we showed the player Empire Cricket Club. I'm trying to show you now the genius in testing pain. Not only a good form of instruction, not only a man of integrity, but a genius batsman. He might not be a genius cricketer, but he's a genius batsman. He understands the game. So when we play on the first match, all of a sudden, we is 30 for three. And St. Catherine supporter left out there by the pavilion and walk in front of me and look at me in a kind of way that they're going to tell me what they want to me, but they say. And they went back. And then suddenly we were 60 for five. And they get up again and walk in front of me and look at me more cruel. Batson was batting. He might not was just reading the thing just now. And suddenly saw Batson called me and tell me. He was there when, when it was 56 for five. He called me and tell me, Mr. Finger, I got a problem playing. A left hand bowler from thing, I don't know if you all remember the name, Primon. He said, I got a problem playing Primon, I can't get it play. So he sent for Payne, he said, Payne, come quick, come quick. Talk to Batson, he got a problem with Primon. Payne spent three seconds with Batson, three seconds. And suddenly so Batson went back and started beating ball. And suddenly so we had 225 for the same five. And not a boy from this thing, Catherine Payne coming from me, look at me, tell me nothing. That's that some Payne, a batting genius. He understood the game. Officiating Minister Reverend Rosling Harper Johnson reminded those in attendance to keep the memories close and reflect on their own lives. A memory is told that if he is traveling or if he is watching or he found a game that interests him, he will stop to watch. Such are the memories and many more which are called to mind today. But Christian friends, for those of us left behind, we are called to remember today, too, the frailty of our own life. Payne was laid to rest on the legend's lawn of Coral Ridge Memorial Gardens. Melissa Farley, CBC Sports.